this is Catherine with Fit Armadillo, the fitness company that lets you enjoy fitness at your place and your pace. And I'm here today because it is Titan and Tone Tuesday. Does it seem like everyone and everything is turning green lately? I'm not just talking about the fact that it's spring and that Thankfully for those of you who live in colder climates, you're now seeing green leaves on the trees. And hopefully no snow when you're watching this video. What I'm talking about is the fact that everyone's drinks seem to be going green. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you all about green juice and green smoothies and whether or not you actually need to jump on this going green bandwagon or if it's more appropriate to stick to recycling as your way of going green. First, let's just talk about why you would want to drink your vegetables in the first place. Because whether you're having green juice or a green smoothie, the reason why they're green, unless you let your fruit go a little bad, is because you are adding in some vegetables like kale, spinach, swish tart into your actual drink. A lot of clients and other people that I've talked to that are interested in getting started with juicing or making green smoothies do so because they're trying to lose weight. So if this is why you're considering juicing or eating green smoothies, I want to tell you that this reason is just not valid. I repeat, if you want to lose weight, having green juice or drinking a green smoothie is not the best way to do it. Got it? For some reason, I'm sensing that you don't believe me. Here's the thing. Both processes, juicing and making green smoothies, remove fiber from our fruits and vegetables. If you're juicing and you have a juicing machine, this is very obvious because you're actually going to remove the fiber parts of your fruits. They get left behind when you make the juice. For a green smoothie, it's not as obvious, but the result is still the same. In both instances, we end up with a lot less fiber than we would have if we ate the whole fruit or vegetable. Now, why does this really matter? Other than fat, fiber is the thing that helps keep us full longer. So if you are drinking your vegetable nutrients instead of eating them, you're going to miss out on the weight loss management tool of having fiber in your diet, which happens when you eat whole fruits and vegetables. The other reason why green juice and smoothies don't really help with weight loss is that when you're drinking your calories, it's a lot easier to drink a lot more. And especially with green smoothies, it's very easy to add in a lot of extras that increase the calorie content without you really knowing it. And without that fiber, you're not going to feel as full as you would if you chew those calories. So that's another reason why green juice and green smoothies can actually be counterproductive if you're trying to lose weight. Now you might not be very happy with me right now and you might not trust me since all the celebrities are juicing and drinking green smoothies, right? But there are some reasons why you might want to start drinking green juice or green smoothies. If there is no way that you are going to eat your fruits or vegetables if you aren't drinking them in a smoothie, then yes, please do enjoy your green juice or your green smoothie because you will still get the nutrients from those fruits and vegetables. Also, if you wouldn't eat your fruits or vegetables otherwise, green juice and green smoothies can be kind of a gateway into heading away from eating a lot of processed foods and starting to crave the flavors of fruits and vegetables and hopefully will lead you to eating whole fruits and vegetables in the future. So while I do not believe in cleanses because most of the time a cleanse involves things and processes that just don't work and don't help with weight loss and can actually hinder your results and your progress, I know that for clients who have been eating a lot of processed foods, it can be hard to make that transition to eating healthy foods and having some green juice or a green smoothie is one way to start enjoying those flavors and getting those nutrients if you wouldn't do it through eating a big salad or having a lot of vegetables with your meal. Now, if you aren't looking to get on the green juice or green smoothie train, 
but have actually been on it for a while and aren't sure what to do. I have two tips for you. One is to have fewer green juices and green smoothies and try to swap out a few with whole fruits and whole vegetables. And the other tip comes from my friend who's a registered dietitian who offered the tip of trying to get some fiber in your diet by using powders like Metamucil or Benafiber. But again, she also stressed that there's no substitute for eating whole fruits and veggies. And the big reason for that is because of the fiber they offer you that you just can't get from your green juice or green smoothie. So I want you to take action now. How can you enjoy some whole fruits and vegetables at your next meal? Share your idea in the comments below. Did you learn something by watching this video? Remember, sharing is caring. Make sure to share this video with your friends and on social media. Thank you so much for stopping by for this week's Titan and Tone Tuesday. I hope you have a great week, a great workout, and enjoy eating more whole fruits and veggies this week. See you next week.